Monitoring this and staying below this is just a part of the discipline, just like turning up for your run or turning up for your weight session each day and each week. What's going on hybrids and welcome to a new video. So you wanna know how to maintain muscle while running? Well in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I maintain muscle while also keeping up my running and how you can do it too. So stick around for more. First things first, you want to prioritize what you actually want to get better at. Do you want to be gaining muscle or do you want to be getting better at running? You want to prioritize which one you want to be better at and then do that first. So if you're looking to get better at your running, you're going to do that at the start of the day and then you're going to do your weight session later in the day or at least just a couple of hours apart so then to minimize the fatigue that you're getting from either one. The second thing you want to do is be consistent with what you're doing, knowing when you're going to do your runs, when you're going to do your weights. For myself, to minimize fatigue, I stick to a four-day split of full body workouts each of those days. And at the moment, I'm running every day from Monday to Friday. The reason I do these full body workouts with one movement per body part per session is so that instead of doing a full leg day, which could have me cooked for a number of days and not be able to run or make my run feel terrible, the fatigue is actually spaced out. I'm able to perform and feel good running pretty much 100% of the time. Make sure if you're enjoying the video so far, you jump down, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and let us know down in the comments if you want to hear about any other topics. If you need help with any of your weight training, there are links down in the description to my online programming and we've also just released a half marathon training program if you're interested in that. Most of the time, if you're feeling like you are running at the start of the day and you are too fatigued going into your weight session at the end of the day, this may be caused by running your easy runs too hard. And this can be tracked by tracking your heart rate and staying below your max aerobic heart rate, which for a calculation is about 180 beats per minute minus your age. And you stay below that heart rate for the duration of your whole run. Monitoring this and staying below this is just a part of the discipline, just like turning up for your run or turning up for your weight session each day and each week. My advice if you're a beginner runner and you're just getting into your running and you find that your heart rate is spiking up, you may want to, when you find that you're going over that max aerobic heart rate, actually just stopping and walking until your heart rate goes down, then trying to start again at a slower pace rather than actually trying to slow down mid run because you'll find it very hard to get that heart rate back down. Another way that you're gonna track that you're not burning muscle or dropping weight too quickly is just weigh yourself. Assuming you're not 5% body fat and barely have any on you to burn, you are going to drop weight slowly if you are eating your normal diet and adding in running as well as your current scheduled weight sessions. In terms of fueling, just like with your weights training, running is just another stimulus that yes, it will break down the muscle. Think about the weight that's coming down on that foot every time. And if you're running a K, you might be taking a thousand steps and your body's being exposed to your body weight coming down on that leg a thousand times. So you do need to fuel adequately. And what I recommend there is at least two grams of protein per kilo of body weight or one gram of protein per pound of body weight. During the process of the running and weights training providing that your weight isn't dropping too fast your muscle shouldn't be depleting too much providing that your fuel and nutrition is adequate and you're not running your easy runs too hard as a beginner i would suggest that you don't try and run every day you want to try and space out your runs a little bit, see what your recovery is like and give yourself the best chance at building as much muscle as possible while actually still doing your running. So in conclusion, if you are adding running into your current training regime, just like any other stimulus, you need to make sure that you are fueling adequately for that. Use some of the points that I touched on before earlier in the video and use this video as a source of giving yourself the best opportunity to maintain muscle while also adding running into your training schedule. If you made it to the end of this video and enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give it a like, a thumbs up, Go down and comment anything else you want to hear about. And until the next time, remember to eat like a bro, train hybrid AF, and go all out.